In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Trustpilot reviews in WordPress. Unfortunately, since WordPress doesn't support this functionality by default, what we need to do is use a third-party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. The first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video. Once you've clicked on the link, this is the page that you're going to see. From here, I want you to head over to the top of the page, which is where you'll find this widget button. Simply hover over it and then underneath reviews here, I want you to click on all in one reviews. Click on that and then you'll be taken to the all in one reviews widget page. From here, I want you to head down a little bit and then you will see this create widget for free button. Click on it and then you'll be taken to the reviews template section. So on the left hand side here, as you can see, you have a bunch of different review templates that you can choose from. And then on the right hand side here, you have a little preview of what each of the templates would look like on your WordPress website. In this case, it's for desktop, but if you click right here, you can also change it to mobile view, just in case you want to see what the template would look like if it was browsed through a mobile device. Also bear in mind that the designs of these templates is not final. We can actually customize pretty much anything that you see on here, including the text or the color of the buttons, the star rating, and the text here, everything that you see. Now, once you have selected a template that you like, go ahead and click on continue with this template in the bottom left corner of the screen right here. This is the place where we can start customizing the Trust Pilot Reviews template to our liking. But before we do any of that, we first need to add the reviews. So what you want to do here is go down a bit and then you will see uh, more platforms here. Click on custom and then what you want to do here is change the source name to Trust Pilot, just like that. And then where it says source icon, upload, or link to the uh, Trustpilot logo. In my case, I'm gonna upload it. The reason why we want to do this is to make the template look a lot more authentic. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on add review right here. And what we need to do here is add the reviews that we want displayed on our template. So literally go ahead from Trustpilot, copy a bunch of reviews that you want added. In my case, I've just uh, typed up some random review. It doesn't even matter in this case. Then what you have to do is add your reviewer name. So Peter Smith, and then you can add the reviewer fault if you want. You can change the date, the star rating, etc. Then you can even add your own reply, add some fault etc once you're done with the review go ahead and click done and then add one more and one more and however many you want you can add up to like i don't even know thousands of reviews if you wanted to go that far but uh, in my case i'm just going to duplicate them uh, three times just like this just so we have some more um, reviews right here to show and then once you've added all the reviews they want to display on your wordpress website what you have to do now is customize it if you want to now on the left hand side here you will see layout header, review, style, and setting. These are all customization settings that you can take advantage of to further customize your template. So for example, let's just go to header and let's just suppose that we want to hide the rating for whatever reason. If you click on rating here, as you can see, it disappears. And yeah, also any change they make on the left-hand side here will automatically take effect on the right-hand side here. That way you can easily keep track of any changes that you make in real time. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through every single setting that you can change here. I'll leave this up to you to explore. But yeah, once you're ready to move forward, go ahead and click on add to website for free in the bottom left corner of the screen right here. Then your Trustpilot reviews template will be saved up. What you want to do next is publish it. So in the top right corner of the screen, look for a green publish button. It will be right here. In my case, it's already published, which is why it's grayed out. But in your case, it won't be. So click on that and then you'll be taken to the plans page. Now, this is what the plans page looks like. And from here, what we need to do is choose a plan. Now, since this is the first widget that we're creating from Elf site, we can actually go for the free plan right here. As you can see, it supports one widget. Alternatively, if you want to look more functionalities or if you want to use more than one widget from Elf site on your WordPress website, then you can always go for one of the premium plans right here. As you can see, they have quite a few different ones that you can go with. And then if you want to pay annually, you can also save some money. In my case though, since this is just a tutorial, I've gone for the free plan right here. As you can see, it's already been selected. But yeah, once you've selected a plan that you want to go with, you will automatically be taken to the page where you can copy the code for your trust pilot reviews widget this is what it looks like so from here click on copy code and let's head over to wordpress so we can implement it now when it comes to adding your trust pilot reviews widget the first thing you want to do is go to the relevant page and then in the top left corner of the screen here you will see this plus icon click on that and then search for html here and click on custom html alternatively what you could do straight from the page itself where it says uh, to type to choose a block as you can see click on this plus icon Search HTML again, custom HTML, click on that, and then a custom HTML block will be added to the page. Then all you have to do is paste the code we just copied previously from Elf site, give it a couple of seconds and click on preview. Then in a couple of seconds, your Trustpilot review switcher will be added to the page. As you can see, it's fully interactive and looks super nice and clean. I would recommend you to make this full width just so it looks a little bit better, but in this case, it doesn't really matter because this is just a tutorial. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add Trustpilot reviews in WordPress. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.